Once upon a time, in a country far, far away, there was a cruel king who owned ten wild dogs. He used them as punishment for anyone who made a mistake, according to him, by throwing them into the den with the wild dogs. One day, one of his servants made a mistake, which the king wasn't very happy about. In fact, he ordered this man to be thrown to the dogs. The servant, however, protested and said, Your Majesty, I have served you loyally for ten years, and I know I made a mistake, but please be merciful to me. And when he saw that the king was going to keep to his judgment of him, he said, Please, may I then just have ten days to get my business in order, before you throw me to the dogs. And to this, the king agreed. Instead of going home, though, the servant went to the guard and looked after the dogs, and he said, Listen, I know you've been working very hard for a very long time. Let me look after the dogs for the next ten days, and you take a break. And the guard was a bit perplexed by this, because no one ever showed him any kindness or any mercy. And the king was quite a cruel master. And so he took the servant up on his offer. And for the next 10 days, the servant on death row fed the dogs, cleaned their den, groomed them, and really took very good care of them. And after the 10 days were over, the king ordered that a servant be thrown to the dogs for his punishment. However, instead of the dogs tearing the servant to pieces, like they usually do, they ran to him and started licking his hands and feet. And the king couldn't believe what he was seeing and asked what happened to his dogs. And the servant replied, I served the dogs for only 10 days, your majesty, and they remembered me and refused to harm me. Yet I served you for 10 years, and at my first mistake, you forgot it all and decided to throw me to the dogs. The king was deeply impacted by this, and he decided to set his servant free. Friends, if the cruel king showed such mercy, shouldn't we do the same? If someone has always been good to you and then wronged you in some way, remember who they are. Don't forget all of it because of their mistake or how they hurt you. Instead, may I encourage you to look at others with mercy in your eyes and be quick to forgive. That is, after all, how we'd like others to treat us as well.